Hey everybody, welcome back to Maze. The game about everyone's favorite topic, sentient, that's right, corn. Sentient corn. Uh, we are in this underground facility, underneath this facade of a farm above us, uh, run by the spectacular Bob and his, I, get, I don't know if they're friends anymore, Ted. But uh, basically, Bob is the best, Ted is a bit of a grouch. Um, Bob likes to have a good time, Ted less so. We found this bear, okay, this is, this is very important so far, I think. We found this bear, we're attaching him to some stuff here, uh, looking like we're gonna bring him to life. It don't have anything that resembles, I don't know what this is, it looks like an antenna, but I don't have anything that goes here. The only other clues we have are that we have this small screwdriver that opens up Bob's secret storage spot. Cool. Don't know where the secret storage spot is. We also have uh, the sweaty headband for running. We have a cheap jumpsuit. We've got the Skechra 3000. It says we feel like using it to draw a large face owing to your fascination with foreheads. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Don't know what we're going to draw on that. So if we find a large face, actually, I know where a large face is. We could go check out. Uh, we have the English muffin from the very beginning. This is our welcome gift to the farm. And we've got a coat rack because, I mean, you never know. So that's good. Uh, so the only two things we really have to go on is the large face that I just mentioned. And also the uh, small screwdriver. So, let's uh, go. I'm going to go to the large face that I'm thinking could work. I'm thinking this could work. If not, this is going to be a brutal beginning. But, uh, near the entrance, we had that large painting that we could click on. And... Actually, that could be the hiding spot as well? Maybe? No. Did we check that? I can't remember if we checked that. Okay, Sketcher, maybe? Mmm! Literally might be geniuses in here, actually. Use the portrait of inspiration for the worst facial sketch in the world. This terrible port this terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. But to be fair, the Edge of Sketch 3000 is terrible compared to the Edge of Sketch 2000. So let's be real. But now what do I do with this thing is the question. I'm just at least, I'm glad we at least made progress. All right, let's find a way to, we got to get to this guy's secret spot. Now, if I was Bob, where would I hide my stuff? In my office? Perhaps? Perhaps? We could check the office. Okay, great! And uh, after about 15 minutes of running around the entire place, searching for something to open with a screwdriver, I realized I'm an idiot. So let's backtrack a little bit. What do we know about Bob? Bob's a bit of a slob. Slobby Bobby is what we've been calling him. He's got cheeseburger wrappers everywhere. Okay. Uh... Where would the last place you would expect to find Bob be? And I've actually talked about this. I've mentioned this off the cuff previously. But it is the gym. And on the way to the gym, what do we have here? Ding, ding, ding. An extremely obvious fake panel marked with a blue X. We are in. Thank you very much. Hiya, Ted. Just a heads up, I put your ram right here. This way, it gets less dusty. See, Bob is just... He's just looking out for Ted. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Here's the ram. Now, please be something awesome. Look at all this ram. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of ram. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of ram ever. And search for a computer upgrade... A com search for a computer upgrade it with. To upgrade it with, I believe, is what that means. Knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. But, I will say, we at least know where the computer is. So, to the computer, we must go. And I'm hoping that eventually we get access to lighten up little Vladdy here. That's going to be awesome. Can we just do we just throw this into the computer? Yes, okay, so we found this keyboard previously that has been called an old computer. We know that it is not. However, we have since upgraded the computer and it is not our best work, but it does it does seem to work. Wait, wait, is that what this is? Whoa, that is not what I thought was gonna happen. That's cool. What? What are you looking at? 
Something on Vladdy's <laughs> face? Why you no talk? Do you understand? <laughs> understand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> Oh, why guys so many? Huh? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? <laughs> this makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? I don't know. I don't know, Vladdy. You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Does he just follow us? Oh. We need you oh. to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plan saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? <laughs> da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, da? give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Why gris omnioi? Chitania Vesolo! I'm going to require a translation. Well, if you're just going to be like that. Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. <laughs> it's very important. Okay. You should bring it. The showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. In the gym. Vladdy does not like it here. You've been you've been here for 36 seconds, probably maximum. A new path has opened for you. You should probably go find it. I know the path because I've scoured this entire area before. And I can tell you that it is most definitely a grate behind a whole bunch of orange boxes that are probably no longer there. Right, Vladdy? Come with me, pal. Let's do this. Does he keep up or do I have to, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's gonna be... He is going... To... He is gonna have some problems. Okay, I'm gonna see if he just keeps up with us. Can we talk to him? <laughs> All right, let's see. Goodbye, Vladi. I actually am really curious as to what he said. I don't know how offensive it was, but he probably insulted the corn. Let's be frank. Or Bob, or Ted. Okay, showers. There it is, see? Called it. We could see behind the boxes. We knew that there was some type of grill. Oh, it appears when you just disappear, he'll like join you in the room. That's cool. Okay, we're going into the ducks. Stay Whoa. Here while you do your stupid things, idiot. Guess we're being transported. Uh, okay. I like how he calls us an idiot. Yet he is fascinated with this robot arm that he has no clue how it operates. Fine. Okay, we've got a very obvious path to follow. On the red line. However, we best. Okay, we've reached the end of the alternate path. We are going to now carry on to the main path of red. This would be uh, Bob. Bob writes in the pink, right? I'm pretty sure Bob writes on the pink. Red pen, Bob, I think. Blue pen, uh, not Bob. Ted, who I've probably called Tom or Tim a few times. Okay, yellow. Mystery line. Okay, okay, okay. We're above the little electronics room, I think? Let's just check, hold on. See where the red line does go. Oh my god, it's going forever. Okay, I'm gonna, now I do want to check the yellow line. I can't not know what's at the end of the yellow line. It's, it'll drive me crazy. So let's go to the yellow line, but I hope this doesn't take us too far off the main path of the red line. Otherwise, devastated. Whoa! It should be me! It should be me! Surrounded by idiots! Rattle! Underappreciated, ridiculed, scorned. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. X is ugh, ridiculous. And that is a super huge corn. 
Hmm, must be with an amazing some list. of my best work. Was it saying something? What was I doing? Ah, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests. Guests. <laughs> okay, is he looking for us, maybe? I guess we're the unwanted guest. <laughs> yeah, obviously make your mark on the world. He seems nice. Yeah, he does. And he drew a picture of something that says stupid. We'll have to figure that out soon, but... For now, we continue along the main quest of the Red Line. And see where this takes us, shall we? So we have an angry corn running around, knocking over cups. Destroying whiteboards with his hideous art. Presumably looking for intruders, probably us. I'm going to check the second yellow line now. There he is again. Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting. <laughs> How dare it! This insolence Insolent. will not be tolerated. <laughs> this one what? is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see that already. This one has a brain. <laughs> hmm. Must be dealt with. <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. <laughs> what? What is he drawing? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, classic. He's probably talking about you. Yes, thank you. A, a, a something stupid. A, a mean, a mean stupid, I think is what that says. Okay, so he's on to us. He's talked about, he's different from the others. This one has a brain, which we've heard reference to us not being the first person here. <laughs> Guess we had to get a new paint bucket at that point. Um, so, yeah, I'm assuming that he, who's this? Oh, we, I think we've probably read about this corn. This is like the female corn that was made that we were, like, wasn't supposed to get made. The corn of hearts or something? Who has disturbed me? Oh, God. Oh, God. We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. As our servant what? informed you of your task. No, of course not. Imps. What? No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope? We have finally found our champion. No, likely not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. What? I don't have a clue what she's talking about, but she reminds me of, like, every Dark Souls character. Looks like you've something to do. In pure coincidence, a new path is open to you. Head to the West Hook checkpoint. Okay, so, uh, what I was talking about was... Let's see. There was a report that we had seen. This one. A breed of Ruby Queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. Also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. So that's the one I was looking for. Ruby Queen Corn. Pretty obvious that she is the Ruby Queen. Now, she says we are here, we, she does, we don't know if we're like, uh, I'm gonna say of worth, but that's not what she said. But uh, we have to help. We have to do what she's asking. And hopefully Vladi is there to support us along the way. He seems like he's going to be a great little guy to have on our side. Totally trustworthy and full of, full of fun, mainly. I wish I could run in here. 
alas. Uh, yeah, we checked the other side. Ah, idiot! So you are done <laughs> being stupid up there. Yes, yes, Good. we are. Where we go? Just follow me. You clearly have a lot to add to this partnership. Okay, now that room, uh, I think it's at the other... No, wait. The west... Uh, this is like the daycare, I believe. Yeah, daycare. I think this is by the offices, the west checkpoint or something. There's something that leads up to level two. I don't recall if that's the exact same or it's this one, West Hook checkpoint. All right, so I know exactly where I'm going. I don't, I hope I don't have to wait for Vladi. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna like magically show up behind us. Broken security checkpoint's got a bear. Which means... What? Probably Why is Vladdy, that Vladdy's I guess. Job? What is Vladdy supposed to do? I don't know, but apparently this is your thing. If you don't mind. Open up said door for us, pal. This stupid thing will never work. Take is your time. It... Huh? Okay. <laughs> Facial recognition security checkpoint. Okay, coat rack finally happening. Ding dong. Place coat rack in front of camera. Yes, we we nailed it. Uh, jumpsuit. Boom. Oh, and this is where we use the face. Awesome. And a headband because why? Oh, to hold it all together. Let's see if it recognizes our face. I'll I'll push the button. You must be joking. That never worked. Turns out my well, that was still <laughs> stupid. Turns out my art was actually pretty dece. We still have the English muffin though, so have no have no fear. The English muffin will make it. I still think that the English muffin will last us the entire time. We'll see. Where the hell? Okay, so we've got a left, we got a right, we got a blue light. Let's check out the blue light scenario first. Vladdy, I'll meet you at the top, I think. Oh my god. Look how many stairs there are. There's so many... Hold on, let's check the sides first. Sometimes I feel like a path is too long, and there's all multiple options. I'll go like halfway and realize, no, this is pretty far. And then we'll check the, the other sides. Now the real question is, how deep down the rabbit hole does this place go? Wait. Bob P. McTavish Honorary Lobby? He... <laughs> what? This is very similar to the other one, except this is just Bob P. Like, just his picture. He's got another statue. Bob, you buffoon. Why is there a lobby here? And what happened to the decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. I did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gotta be a real moneymaker. <laughs> Words fail me. Idiot. This is like... Ted is a Dota player, pretty much. If you don't know what Dota is, just Google Dota Baby Rage. Um, stop it with statues, cordially, Ted. He also says, Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work, so I'll remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Fly f flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20-mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. That's confirming Bob's pen. I'm actually pretty stoked that we picked up on the pen colors because that's probably going to come into play at some point. Maybe not, but it'd be cool if it did. What do we have here? Coffee maker? You took this not because you want to make coffee, but that you heard the coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee and it didn't come true. Naturally. 
multiple Bob portraits, lobby design brochure. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular, a circle in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Yeah, Bob's a shopper. Slobby Bobby. Picking up anything that he can. Restart nuclear reactor? That's yeah, gonna be great. Bob. I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain. Bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Ted, Ted, solved your maze. Took me a little while, but I got it in the end. <laughs> Containment control, core access. He's drawn the, all the lines all over it. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Cordially, Ted. But we can't turn this on yet. We can't turn it on yet. Book of Nuclear Reactor Maintenance Guidelines. That could be helpful. While this is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines, forget what I just said, in the history of time, none of the guidelines make sense and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Fantastic. Fantastic. Nuclear explosion in 120. Minutes, days, hours, years? I don't know why I went minutes to days to hours to years, but... Okay, so this is blocked. In the nuclear reaction room, so we'll have to remember this. Bob P. McTavish Honorary Lobby, obviously. Okay, let's keep scouting this side, shall we? I feel like to come all the way down here, only to head back up, is a bit counterintuitive. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. These guys, these are the best. Hello, corns. Nope, I can't go in front of you. All right. What's this? Is that an old bicycle with blood on it? I'm not gonna ask. Door to hook room, f west hook one, hook room four? Not happening, okay. This is good, we're gathering information. Little hunter gathering scenario. For now, we're the gatherer. Vladdy can be the hunter. Let's check the left side. Imagine a very similar scenario with a locked door that I will not be able to open. However, I have been wrong in the past. And yeah. Oh, oh. We need to we need to actually find a door handle for West Hook 2. Great. Well, to the stairways we go. Come on, Vladdy. No, if he was smart, he would just grab me with that hook of his and just hold on to, like, my pant leg. I actually don't know what we are. I don't know if we... Maybe we're corn. Could totally be. We could be corn the whole time. Uh... We could be human. We don't see our hands or anything, even when we're holding stuff. So... Submarine access. Oh, what? Submarine assembly manual. Stop. An instruction Stop. manual for building your own very- your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, as with everything else, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. The Lockheard D-48. Lock toolbox we need a key for. A loading skid. You decide to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain in the wood and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. I'm so glad that we have selected that piece of wood for our folio. Oh my god. An item. Looks like a egg or a grenade. It's either an egg or a grenade. Hiya Ted, just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. 
Completely corn free, of course. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. We're days behind schedule. Stop joyriding with the tractor, dummy. <laughs> the tractor that is like locked in place by a propane tank. Small key, presumably for the toolbox. It's a shame you don't have small hands, as handling this key would be much easier. Looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which could be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. I'm reading between the lines, and I don't appreciate it. We are definitely locked in here. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off of a simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Awesome. Great. Water. Blood is favorite. You don't like water? Hey, Ted. I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will be nearly double. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had, idiot. I think we need to get an idiot counter going. A locked cello case. Ah, uh, the key could actually go here. No, obviously not. Strange sealed box. I just thought maybe we could cut it open with the key. Theoretically we could, but no. Hey Ted, need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would ya? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Cordially, Ted. Alright. To... The toolbox. There we go. Hammer. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this, instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think of these things. Probably because of Vladdy. Box cutter. The cheapest box cutter commercially available, this brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. Good thing we only have one box to open. Which may lead to the cello. Oh, Fabergé Why eggs. Pick up so much garbage, idiot? Why? Does not I'm not even going to ask. Bob got his hands on these extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy and bought them in bulk so we could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned that they don't contain any chocolate. But this does look like a grenade or an egg as originally guessed, so I'm not too far off, actually. It feels pretty good. And smash. Okay. Priceless lockpick. Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world, but you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Also true. Then we can pick the cello case. <laughs> what? Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. Really? For some, for reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hand, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Vladdy. My brother. I need you to go through a vent somewhere right here and unlock the door if you don't mind. In there? Yes. What's oh, boy? Yeah, boots up, boy. Goodbye. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy <laughs> crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid. <laughs> uh, stupid uh -oh. wires everywhere. Why is this stupid? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets. Oh! Ah! Vladdy has to oh, uh, do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, guys, so many. Hey, idiot, did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Fine, Vladdy done anyway. Do we more Lucy drugs? Stupid idiot, could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? But don't you feel like you have a sense of purpose? You did not like that part of the experience. Also, a new path is open for you. 
probably somewhere radioactive, which is probably by that nuclear launch room, if I had to make a guess. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in the adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. So, good stuff. Not launching a submarine, but we can probably go back to the radioactive room and proceed from that point. Hiya, Ted. Since this is a highly safe, sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. I mean... Had we read that earlier, we probably still would have been locked inside. So, good stuff. Where the frick is he? Oh. Okay, we're going to take a break here, and then uh, we're going to run back to the radioactive room and uh, fire up the power with most likely this thing. I think. Wish me luck. See you guys. Bye.